do you yield? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Hello spirits, so I'm talking about Encanto again. That's uh... Let's hope this turns out better than last time. But don't worry, this ain't those topics. Instead, I'm here to give reasons why there should be more Encanto content, because quite frankly, we're lacking here. Without further ado... I cannot think of a reason why, because Disney hasn't announced any sort of new content besides a sing-along and a D23 event, but that's not really new content. From what I can tell, the movie was great. The animation was phenomenal, fast, and different with the tilted angles. The attention to detail was amazing, the change of villain was a nice change of pace. There's theories of plenty to be made, and the abusive themes were compelling, except for the redemption of Bella got. So what loose ends can they fix? Encanto as a whole was a great movie, one I consider that brings some original Disney magic. Some, as the movie is imperfect and had a few issues that couldn't be fixed in a single movie. So, let's start off with... Now this is definitely one of the most bullshit things I saw in the movie maybe resolve. So, Bruno returns of course and the town helps him out at the end. Only the town and his family shunned an innocent guy given a gift they misinterpreted for 10 years. With a diss track they're most likely sung more than once on him. And everything's just alright? Something I preferably would like is a TV series since that would work best. And it could be maybe a season's worth arc or even an episode of everyone just trying to fix their mistakes. Only they end up repeating similar actions from over 10 years ago, blaming him for bad prophecies and more. The townsfolk and family alike. Because in 10 years alone in the walls, you got to have some level of trauma bottled up. So Bruno snapping at everyone for blaming him for his gift that foretold the future might Mind you, a feature that's not set in stone would be something interesting to see. Because if a show does follow, there's no way there's not bad water with Bruno and the rest. I'm not sure if this is the case with everyone else, but Abella did not deserve a redemption arc so soon. Now she's marked as the Disney villain in this movie, not the ha <laughs> ha evil mother character, but the trauma inflicted mentally abusive family member. And while she does have a sympathetic backstory, that doesn't excuse the countless years of abuse to Mirabel and her sisters. Because it left Mirabel to try and prove herself, Louisa to lose her childhood, and Isabella to not be herself. And I didn't even mention their cousins, more on that later. But a show would be able to cement the fact that she deserves that arc, not something given to her for no reason. Give her proper time to give a reason to say she's earned it. <laughs> I think an issue everyone can agree on is the Encanto cast didn't get a lot of screen time. Sure, you know their names, their powers, but we don't get a lot of them on screen. So it's just Mirabel, Brew, and a couple of minutes of the rest of the family. We only got a snippet of each character's personality, and we only saw Mirabel help a few people in her family, and some getting potential arcs or even setups for plot points. We don't know what each character also struggled with in the movie, only a handful. Not on Pepper's side, much less do we know what the children of Abella went through, or even the first reaction to the characters getting their new powers, what Dolores first felt, how Bruno found out about his power, and more. So it is disappointing since a lot of people like these characters, and a lot of possible things could have been based around the characters. Each character is unique, and their personalities mix well with their gifts. Isabel and Louisa get arcs in the movie, establishing one's not perfect and one needs rest, but that's not all for their character, and deleted scenes can help with that. Isabella's boyfriend, for context, the original concept for the movie had him, Ubo? I'm sorry if I'm saying Louisa or Ubo wrong. In a concept where Isabella wanted to run away with him, to be free of a place where she can't be herself. But having this boy come back into the picture, it would allow for someone to see her as she is. That she's not perfect and is happy the way she is, not someone she has to be. And for Louisa, concert art showed she had a boring ass room. But there was a secret part of the room, which shows off an entire amusement park. And for a little elaboration, Louisa is a character who got robbed of her childhood because of a gift so she never got a break. So while I'm not sure if they will continue this plotline, same with Isabella's, it would be nice to see their arcs come full circle, but introducing these concepts would allow for both characters to continue their arcs.
for a Disney spin-off, I'm not expecting God animation, but another show that further touched upon its lore, its world in such a great way was Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure. The show followed after the movie, focused on new characters, new lore, and explored the other characters. And while the animation wasn't exactly perfect, because I believe it was rigged animation, it's visually appealing. So I would expect a similar animation style for the show because it would most likely fit them. And that show also had supernatural effects which would look alright with the Encanto characters' gifts. And the designs for the characters did blend well with their tradition to 2D. Encanto as a whole has a lot of potential as a franchise and it's unfortunate that all that potential just might go to waste. Thankfully, Disney has been merciful in some cases to provide said content. Disney have been doing short content for some of their movies, such as Baymax or Zootopia Plus, or even allowing fully fledged episodes like Cars on the Road. But if Encanto is never announced content, it will remain as a standalone movie with incomplete arcs, plotlines that were missed, and more I didn't even mention.